Because when your Pong is really good, you no longer need Chai Le Jiao Kao, they become obsolete. So if your Tai Chi is exceptional, you never use Chai Le Jiao Kao. Chai Le Jiao Kao are there to make up for deficiency, in other words, error. So while your Pung is not fully developed, in the beginning, in my view, that is when you should be training and developing Chai Le Jiao Kao. Because by definition, your Pung is deficient. So for example, if we touch, and he touches me, if I have Pung, he just floats on my Pung. He wants to change, he's always just on my Pung. That's Pung. But if my Pung fails and it crushes me, I didn't have Pung. So I have to use Chai to make up for the deficiency and then I can use something else. The Chai makes up for where I screwed up. I screwed up because my Pung failed me. Yeah? Is that understandable? And the same goes with the other diagonal hands. So if he just rests on my Pung, that's Pung. Okay? If he comes and I want it to come in, this Lu, okay? G is when it squeezes. And An is when the Pung goes down. This is An Jin. The Pung comes, come. This is An, okay? An is down. Now, it's okay, <laughs> push. If I don't have Pung, I use Lia. I use Lia, yeah, to disrupt that I can use An. So I use the diagonal hands to make up for deficiency in Pung Muji An. Now, Pung is not the hand, it is a quality. So even if he touches here, that's Pong. Push. He's always going to be stuck on floating on my body. It doesn't matter, it's the same everywhere. No matter what they do, they float. Then because they're floating, he can't feel what I'm doing. It's hidden from him and I can change. <coughs> right? But if I don't have Pong, it's I have to run away, attack. I have to run away from him. If I have Pong, he can't read what I'm doing. Okay, so how do you develop Pong? 